All right, day 23. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In The Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives Arc Day by Day. And uh, first I had to fix my hair, because I ended up with, like, pigtails or something, so I uh, just cut it back to the braids, which I always use. But yeah, I'm running the uh, Summer Bash event, or I was when I made this video. So I want to make a couple of skins, and that means cooking a lot of meat especially primate uh, so that I can get my favorite skin in the whole game uh, it was in ASE now it's in ASA I gotta make myself that inflatable Rex skin I just I need it I need it bro I need it uh, so yeah I had a lot of fun um, running around in an inflatable Rex suit it's just so goofy but I love it so much um, I even painted it and everything but yeah, um, so I had a few goals when I sat down to do this episode. First of all, I ended the last one uh, hunting for uh, sharks so that I could start working underwater. And so I, uh, of course, need to get some stuff from underwater, mainly pearls, uh, more tames, uh, start exploring down there, you know, start making progress on that end. And um, here I'm following a, a treasure map that I pulled out of a drop. I was concerned about these aloes, but it honestly ended up not being a problem. And buried treasure. Hey, I'll take the leech blood. But, uh, yeah, so I want to finish industrializing the base. That means a lot of resource grinding, which is why there are so many days in this episode. But I want to I wanna forge. I want to chem bench. I want to cooker. So, on the grind we are. Go out, get some metal, because we're going to need a ton of that stuff. And honestly, what ended up being the biggest problem was pearls. Uh, going and getting pearls was quite the headache. Um, so I, I did find a solution, and you'll see what that is uh, later. Now it's day 24. Um, and I started cryoing a bunch of stuff around my base just to kind of clean up the yard a little bit. And um, I did end up having to move the, the cryo fridge. But uh, I set out to Carno Island just to take a look, see if I could find some T-Rexes, which I didn't. Um, set up some beds so I can spawn at Carno Island or the Carno Island Cave. And took the time to kill this Ar Alpha Carno, which gave me a really nice crossbow, actually. Um, I mean, it's just ramshackle, but, you know, 130% is better than 100%, so, hey, I'll take it. And, uh... Prime meat too. Not that I'm going to use it though. Not at this point. So then I, um, I'm on my way home and I uh, come across this Uteranus. Well, on my way home, I was stopping out at the snow to get some oil, I think. But uh, I had stuff to trap on me. It wasn't great. I've got these billboards and bear traps, so I'm trying to set this up for the Uteranus. I want to uh, try and knock it out if I can. I got to clear up some space around it. But I've never trapped with billboards before, so this was a first-time attempt for me. We got that bear trap down, start pulling the billboards out, getting things lined up. It's down the hill. Just gonna get this lined up quick and try and get it straight. And in a spot where it's not gonna be able to walk through. Honestly, I should have put the billboards down first and then put the bear trap in the middle. I, I don't know what I was doing at this point, honestly. I screwed it up so bad. I had to pick it up, put it back down again. Move the bird out of the way so the bird doesn't die. I don't want to lose another carrier pigeon. I'd prefer not to have to make yet another one. The first one I lost was an ASE. Technically, I haven't lost this one yet. But hey, you know, it's only a matter of time, given my track record with Argents. And um, as I was continuing to mess with uh, putting the trap up, Guess who got stuck in the trap? So now I'm like trying to get this all in and he roars and knocks me way back. Now he's free and now I can't seal him in. So now I've just got to get out of here. This thing wants me dead. And I just got to get on, get on the bird, get on the bird. Yes. Ugh. And fear roared. Well, at least I'm alive. <laughs> Uh, that was too close. I need to find a better way to tame Uteranus. Um, so I finished going out. I got my oil. And, um, 
This inflatable pickaxe is so silly. It looks like I'm whacking it with a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> um, decided to stop and pick up this red drop, and uh, there was a ton of stuff around it. Thankfully, it was all walking away, so I was able to just kind of let it all go and then go and pick up the drop. Red drops coming down. This is one of my first red drops in this save. And we got a ramshackle pump shotgun and some absorbent substrate, which is perfect because, hey, I need that for my gas mask. And since I'm here, I might as well get some polymer. But yeah, I was uh, working on getting through the Cave of the Immune, so that's another thing on my list. I need absorbent substrate, and that means I need uh, sap and I need black pearls. So I, uh, I got to work on getting sap and black pearls. And now I decided I wanted to go back to exploring the ocean, so I had to uh, move the cryo fridge and make another gen so that I could come out here and put down a generator and set up the cryo fridge out here in the water, on the edge of the water, so that I could uncryo my water tames and the, uh, the land tames that I have. I'm still rolling with the uh, must be near a setup cryo fridge rule. So we'll see how long that lasts. But it's getting to the point where it, it's kind of irritating to have to always have this uh, cryo fridge set up. Like, I get why they did it. Like, in PvP, you don't want people just rolling around uncryoing tames, throwing them at your base. Kind of silly. In PvE. I mean, uh, makes some things way less cheesable, but I'm not I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. There, there are ups and downs. I think it's just change for change's sake. So now I'm underwater looking for pearls and uh, other things. I need plenty of electronics to make this stuff too. Like all all of this advanced resource grinding is painful. So I remembered I was trying to get to a pearl cave, so I went ahead and I, I uh, went into this pearl cave. I was like, all right, let's get some pearls. Let's swim the shark in here. I'll get off. I'll grab all of these pearls. I should have a few hundred pearls, right? Um, yeah, that's not what ended up happening. So I walked through here, and there's this one uh, stack of pearls right here uh, that... I, my character is insistent on grabbing literally anything and everything other than the pearls. So that was fun. But uh, yeah, it took me it took me a little bit. Got to pick all the leaves off of it, you know? You want some pristine, clean pearls. You don't want weeds in your pearls. So just get all this stuff out of the way so I can pick this up. And there we go. All right, what else is in here? Yeah, there was nothing else in there. That was the only pack of pearls that I could find. So, um, I'm just continuing to explore the ocean. Um, I don't, I, I picked some up off the ocean floor, just randomly. But, uh, it, it's just, the, the pearl grind is so slow. So slow. The, the metal was not a problem. Not at all. Uh, actually, I had... So much metal I was and cementing paste, I was able to throw down an industrial forge on the second floor. Uh, this is roughly where I wanted to, to put it. So, there we go. We've got an indie forge. And it's on. Beautiful. Now I can get some metal going real fast. Perfect. Um, I set back out to go and get yet more pearls. And, um, you know what's so fun about exploring the ocean is, uh, this right here. You know, I've got my Megalodon, I'm just kind of eating away at stuff that decides it wants to aggro on me, and another Megalodon comes over, okay. So I'm gonna eat that, and here comes another Megalodon, okay, so I'm gonna have to eat that as well. And another Manta, here comes another Megalodon, nope, two Megalodons. God. <laughs> The whole ocean wants me dead, bro. The whole ocean is out to get me. What the heck? And then spend 
large chunks of your ocean exploration, force feeding meat to heal. Uh, went out near the volcano to get some pearls out of that river and found this drop. So it's pretty nice. And uh, started making up bullets for my shotgun for when I go caving again. Still got a couple of other caves to run before I can do the Broodmother. So a couple of the other easy caves. Uh, it's going to take some time, but hey, we will get it done. And uh, set out on my Thyla to go and run one of these caves now that I had my bullets. And uh, tested out something I saw on YouTube. This is so much fun. You just spam the spacebar and jump as fast as you can, and the Thyla just picks up a ton of speed. And you can get going crazy, crazy fast. I don't know if there is a speed cap on it. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch, but unless it becomes problematic in PvP, I hope they don't patch it. This is so much fun. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Flying cats. So I come over here to the Cave of the Massive. It's like, all right, let's do this. Let's go and do the Cave of the Massive. I did this so many times on ASC, and, uh... Yeah, you can't get in there with a Thylacolia. I tamed this Thyla just for cave running, mostly. And here I am, looking to run caves, and I can't do it on Thylaback. So we super cat jump our way back home because I'm going to need something else to run the cave. So now it's day 26. Yeah, like I said, these days go fast. I'm doing a lot of resource grinding. Uh, this is one of the longest streaks of footage that I have put together into a single episode of Day by Day. Um, so I uh, thought, hey, I have a raptor. It's decent level. Maybe I could uh, take that into the Cave of the Massive? But I wanted to grind levels on it first, so I went to the, back to the Cave of the Hunter uh, to do the same thing I did with my frog. Grind some levels on it by killing cave creatures in here. Um, and now that we're past day 25, uh, we're a quarter of the way to 100 days, which is a mark that uh, a lot of people seem to be really interested in. And this isn't a 100 days challenge. It's not survive for 100 days. It's not beat the island in less than 100 days. If it takes longer than that, it takes longer. If it takes less, it takes less. But I am curious what you guys think. Do you think I will be able to beat the island on Gamma, ascend on Gamma, past the Gamma Overseer? Do you think I can do that before day 100? As I'm uh, just grinding levels on spiders over here. Do you think that I can beat Gamma Overseer before day 100 in this series? Right now we're only a quarter of the way there. By the end of this episode, we'll be a third of the way there almost. But uh, I, I think there's an outside shot I can do it. There's just uh, so much that I've, I've never really done before, and I, I know I'm going to screw some things up as I uh, work towards that goal. For one, the only boss I've ever technically beaten is the Gamma Broodmother. I I've played, you know, 2,000, 2,500 hours of arc between ASC and ASA, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's the only boss I've ever beaten. I, I restart maps too often, if I'm being honest. I've said this before. But I want to wanna beat those other bosses. And um, I need a tech rep. I mean, of course I need a tech rep, but I've never made one. Not outside of uh, PvP, where all the engrams were unlocked all at once and the rates were super, super high. So I decided while I was in here, I have free hands, I would just go ahead and uh, tame myself up a dung beetle. I need one anyway for fertilizer. So go ahead and slap this in there. Get myself a dung beetle. Yeah, I started working on that and running around with a raptor anyway. It generates plenty of feces. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I can get Gamma Ascension done before day 100. Uh, I will try to go straight for it. Uh, no promises. We will see. And now we have Doug the Dung Beetle. So let's uh, keep running this cave. 
and keep working at it. Start clearing the back end of the cave, looking for uh, loot crates and stuff like that. And honestly, picking up this Parasaur saddle was a mistake. I should not have picked up that saddle. Um, because it put my raptor near its weight cap, and it became a problem as uh, I started fighting things, uh, continuing to make my way through the cave. I was on my way back out, really, and um, I killed my raptor. So now I had to finish this thing off with my shotgun. Make sure there's nothing on the raptor worth keeping. Not really. So, now I just gotta pick up Doug and get my way out of here. It, it's unfortunate, really. I, I just pushed the Raptor too hard. But if it couldn't handle this cave, there's no way it was gonna handle the cave of the Massive anyway. I, I don't know why. I love Raptors so much, I try to use them all the time. It just, it never, ever works. It never, never ends up being a positive. Am I doing something wrong? Is there use for raptors that I don't know about? Maybe it's just yard patrol? You get a base up and you just put them on wonder in the base so they can kill stuff, like a pack of them? Or maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's the fact that I'm not using a pack of raptors. Maybe I should try that. So I threw Doug under this overhang, whistled him no follow and passive so he'd stay there, and then uh, ran back home on foot. Just popping shots at the wildlife on my way back. Killing birds, killing dillos. I might be buck naked, but nothing's killing me. Not with that shotgun. And I flew back out. Went to go and grab Doug. Pick him up. It'll be nice to not have to refill the uh, plots. Or the, not the plots. I still have to fill the plots. The compost bins all the time. And I can just... Slap him in here in this wooden cage. I don't know if you still have to do this, but uh, this is how I did it in ASE, so... That's what I'm doing. Close the cage. Put him on Wander. And he's already going. Perfect. I like that they automatically pick up feces now. That's nice. So I made my way back out to the Cave of the Massive. And it's day 27, you know, like dawn of day 27, and we are on our way into the Cave of the Massive, setting myself a waypoint so I can find it easy. It's not that I don't know where it is, but I want to do this for all of the caves so that I can just uh, get back to them really quickly. All right. And in we go. And almost immediately, I could tell the difference between the frog and the raptor. You wouldn't think there's really a power level difference, but this frog is so much better at fighting things than the raptor is. For one, it has more health. I'm pretty sure it also has a better saddle than the raptor had. So that helps. And I came prepared. Highly contagious mega rabies. Well, finish off the bats. Come on. Die, Onik. And then... Bop. Antidote. No more rabies. Pull that stuff out of a drop. Oh, I love it so much. And I'm pretty sure I have stuff to make more back at home. So that'll be nice. Now, this, uh, this ended up being a very hairy situation here. Um... Yeah, I, I have a tendency to do this, is aggro everything in the cave all at once. And honestly, I should have popped a shot and tried to draw them to me instead of going to where they were and fighting them. Because as you can see, I am getting pushed towards the lava. So I'm just trying to knock everything off, kill this stuff. Don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the lava. That's what's going through my head. Just don't fall in the lava. Knock that thing off. Come on. There we go. Now I need to eat, but there's another scorpion coming. I'm almost out. I'm overweight. It's going to knock me off the edge, so I jump. And oh my goodness, I was so close to falling in the lava there. 
That was ridiculous. But I uh, ended up finishing off this scorpion, and I lived to tell the tale. Man, that was close. That was the dumbest jump. I'm not sure it was necessary. It felt necessary at the time. But, yeah, that was nuts. So I jump off. Got my artifact. I finished the cave. Get back on. Kill the bats. And we can start making our way out of here. These things are so annoying. Thankfully, the frog is pretty good at hitting them. That's nice. It has this huge hitbox. Wanted to make sure there were no loot drops over here. Which uh, there didn't end up being. So I made my way back out. Jump, clip the ceiling, stick the landing. And uh, just make my way up here. Going slow. Watching for creatures. Don't put your back up against any cliff faces. Just got this one last jump to make and we're home free. Jump, clip the ceiling. Barely miss the ledge, straight into the lava. And uh, now that I took my frog hot tubbing, I lost all my stuff. Everything that I took with me into the cave anyway. I keep a bunch of backup stuff on carrier pigeon. So it's not like I'm missing things honestly more than anything it stinks that I lost the frog that thing was so good at caving so um, I spent the rest of the day grinding resources went out to Giga Mountain and uh, all the way down to herbivore island harvesting metal and spent some time underwater too saw Mosa Thought about trying to kill it, and uh, didn't end up doing it. Um, I'm not sure if I could tame a Mosa. I probably could, actually. Take a little bit of effort, but I think I've got the resources. More so, it would be about, you know, getting it meat. Honestly, I want to kibble tame some of this stuff, which means I need uh, Uteranus sometime soon. And as I was on my way out of yet another pearl cave empty-handed, there's another Mosa. This one's an alpha. That was, uh... That one made me uncomfortable, and I thought, hey, it won't chase me up here. I've got a decent crossbow. If it's a low enough level, maybe I can just pop some shots in it and uh, kill it right from here. And... Yeah, that, that didn't end up working. I, I always said I don't know how many arrows, and it, it just wasn't worth it. This, this was going to take beyond forever and uh just just not not worth doing so i gave up i went back home i decided to tame myself an angler fish to help my pearl problem found this one it's level 45 not a bad level not a great level but i don't want a super high level angler i'm just going to use it to swim through the ocean get some pearls bring them back home it's not for combat it's not for hauling not really i'm just here for the pearls. Just pop a few Trank Harps in it. Chase it down. Clean the area out first. Get back to Knocking this thing out. I was surprised at how many harpoons it took to knock this thing out. Fish are tough, dude. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm using a bunch of primitive stuff and a ramshackle crossbow. I do need more sharks, too. Um, I need to be able to traverse dangerous parts of the ocean with a pack of sharks. I'm glad I missed that shot. I didn't realize it was uh, unconscious. And I spent the rest of the day sitting over top of it and waiting for it to tame. Swimming up and down to keep it full of meat and narcotics. All the way into the night. Just fighting off sharks and mantas and stuff. And uh, finished taming it. Brought it home. 
I need to go out and get me some more of those pearls now, though. So, I slapped some meat in the anglerfish. And, uh, yeah, now I have to cryo the shark and get ready to set out on the angler. And that means swimming all the way around the island in the ocean. Not flying out to where I need to go. It, like I said, this gets irritating. Because of where my uh, cryopod bench is, I have to go swimming all the way around the island over to where I know there are pearls. So that I can collect pearls with this thing. And it was totally worth it. The pearls that I could get on this, it was everything I needed it to be. Go back home, make up those electronics, clear out some space so I can craft more stuff. Don't forget to put the meat away. Got all this meat now that I made my stuff for the uh, Summer Bash event. Had to get some polymer so I could finish crafting the stuff, so I went out on jet to go and get some. And here comes the chem bench. That's two out of three. So all we need now is the industrial cooker. So let's slap this thing down. I love this so much. Uh, I remember when I was playing ASE, ITGK Survives. I got my chem bench. I made so much gunpowder, so much narcotics. I loaded that thing up with gunpowder and narcotics. I practically needed a second chem bench. Actually, I might have gotten a second chem bench. I can't remember. But yeah, these, those things are nice. Now, fix the sap problem. So I got plenty of cementing paste left over. Put the plat down. And put the ta uh, tap saps. Sap taps up. I cannot speak. Sap taps. There we go. Slap them all around. And uh, I don't know if you still need to do this in ASA, but I know you did in ASE, so... Just walk around and open them up once to make sure they're active. And, uh... Ran into a Rhino the next day. Day 31. This thing... I hate these things, bro. And I was like, okay, maybe I can kill it. Like, I'm on a decent level Argent. I've got some, some levels into melee. No. No. I don't even know that it was close. Uh, this thing just refused to let me go, and it was way too maneuverable for me. I would need a flock of Argents, if I'm being honest. It was just too much for me to handle. So, Jet, unfortunately, is yet another casualty of the Rhinogen thing. So, I just kind of let it kill me, then came back on a PT, got its aggro, and lured it away from my corpse and Jet's corpse. And I was flying and dodging and all of this stuff. It's like, okay, okay, this is working, this is working. I can lose the Pteranodon. I don't care. Let it die. Let it die. It's like, I have nothing on me. There's nothing on the Pteranodon. We are ready to die. I come down here. I go to land. It's gone. So I went and I got my stuff back. It was... It was actually very easy. It ended up being nothing. I have never shaken one of those things before. But I got my uh, industrial cooker now. Now that I've got all that uh, materials from yet another day of grinding. And we are industrialized. I mean, unless you want to count the grinder. Uh, but I'm not worried about grinding stuff yet. Like, I haven't even really started running loot drops. Grinder can wait. So it's day 32. Go out, grind some more metal, because I'm pretty much out now that I made all that industrial stuff. And uh, get this thing set into farm mode and get grinding. And uh, while I was out, Jet's replacement got born. So there he is under the foundation. This is the new Jet. He's just going to be called Jet. We're going to pretend he's just like the old one. I got to paint him when he grows up, though. Uh, needed to expand the farm, and that meant moving my trap as well, uh, just a little bit. 
But the farm, as nice as it is, I'm not putting more crops in. I'm putting berries in. I'm just sick of grinding narcos, and I have so much fertilizer. So it's not an issue. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just uh, slotting these plots down, and I'm just going to grow narco berries. You know what? Screw it. Now I don't have to go out and, and grind them on the Parasaur. And yes, this is not lined up. I did a terrible job. You can sue me in the comments. And then I uh, decided to spend the rest of the day, because the day wasn't quite over yet, finishing up the final floor. It's not, technically it's like 95% done. It's not quite done yet. Um, it's, I, I got the dartboard pattern I was going for done. But... It, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I want to put my tech rep on the top floor, this floor. So I need to make sure that it's wide enough for a tech rep to fit. And given the way I've got it laid out, I don't know that it is. So I will just make the circle wider, as wide as it needs to be. Since, uh, I haven't slot the tech rep in yet, I don't know how big that is. So we are just going to wait to finish the top floor until I put in the tech replicator. But that means beating bosses. So now that the base is as done as it's going to be until we beat bosses, I mean, I'm going to have to build a, a area for Uteranus to make kibble. But essentially, the base is finished. Let's so slot the last of this stuff in. And uh, I'll take a second to show you guys what it looks like from the inside and the outside. It looks really nice. Um, these were a pain. There's so many snap points, it, it was arguing with me. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like how it turned out. I'm excited to see it uh, continue to grow in size. I, I have no idea how how wide it needs to be we will see but uh i finished it and that's what it looks like from inside absolutely beautiful i love the way the sun casts down uh through it shines on the indie forge i gotta put some vaults up for storage on the second floor and that means more polymer of course metal cementing paste all that stuff and um i'm gonna i gotta get back to running caves I gotta start running caves. I gotta start taming a boss army. We are officially approaching the end game, guys. We are approaching the end game. And that that sounds crazy for me to say. I've only hit this point once before, and that was in a video series on this channel. So I'm uh, going and getting my sap, which means now I only need black pearls to make that gas mask. And I have to go and replace my frog. I want frogs to run caves, specifically these early caves. Not going to use it for the cave of the massive. We'll find something else. Um, so I went out and I went frog taming. Uh, I should say I tried to go frog taming. Found several dinosuchus and a few frogs. But ultimately, not a single one worth taming. It just it did not work. So... This is uh, kind of where the video ends. End of day 32. Fully industrial. Ready to start working on that boss army. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any feedback, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this. And uh, subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified when future episodes of this series go up. My name is in the game, Kaya. Thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.